Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is once again Thomas was alone. And we did invert last time. It only took 15 minutes, <laughs> so we'll see how long this takes. Um, is that iterate? Like to make, kind of like I don't. Know. I'm bad at reading. Hmm. Sarah leaned her wizened head back and laughed. <laughs> the quadrilaterals were apparently after some friends of theirs. How petty an adventure. So Sarah has the amazing ability to double jump. And last time I said we're going to meet Sarah, and I knew that because I, I just, like, the, the level started, and I was trying to, like, double jump. It's weird that Sarah looks like Thomas. Why can't I double jump? It's because that... It's, it's, Sarah's over there. But, um, all right, so now the block between us has been alleviated. Let's see if we can get Thomas and and James together. Because if I can, we are of course amazing and powerful. Actually, wait. Okay, I don't need to do that. So now, wait. Can Sarah even get back up here now? Did I screw that up? She can, for her jumping ability is greater than even that of John's. So that's cool. And she's as small as Chris. She's kind of better than everyone. Pretty powerful AI here. She spoke, in terms she could only hope they might understand, of the Fountain of Wisdom. The channel through which all data flowed. And she's smart and knowledgeable. She's got everything. Oh, look at this. I almost didn't see it. All right, in the darkness, find them. <laughs> Lord of the Rings reference. It's nice, I can just fall off a block and then be like, oh no, never mind. Oh, I'm the only one here. So Sarah, you're talking to yourself and possibly crazy. What did that do? Besides make a weird beam of light that actually, oh. Oh, the beam of light is going towards where the switches are to help me, so I don't have to search everywhere. That's cool. Boom! <laughs> Next. Is that below me or above me? I don't want to just fall blindly if it's above me. Uh, I'm going to check up top before I drop down low, because there is water down there. Uh, well, good thing I didn't drop down low. I would have died. Ah, hello. Exit. Sarah could leap in the very air itself. She was like an eagle or a flea. Or more like an eagle. She had vowed long ago that she would know this world. She would know what this world was. That she, Sarah, would know how to escape. It. Looks like we've met our second superhero. Got to the team up Red with Claire. One, who spoke wisely for a lesser, offered Sarah their help. So long as she then helped them save their friends. He said that he too had wondered of the secrets of this world and would quite like a go on the wisdom fountain. That was okay. No. Sarah marveled at his foolishness. Accepted his help. Err! Err! No! Damn it! This is hard. There we go. No! Son of a bitch! So easy to screw this up with like the the, the physics enforced bouncing when you're landing on certain platforms. Ugh. There you gotta go now. Whoa. <laughs> Alright, at least I don't have to fall all the way back down there now. I've gotten a checkpoint of sorts. Good. Ah, here we go. Alright, that was that was a bit rough, <laughs> I gotta say. Sarah wondered at the possibilities of the outer world. She had heard legends of a third dimension. Perhaps she'd encounter one of those curves the blind square had spoken of. 
Blind square? There's a blind square, you say? Uh... Oh, crap. <laughs> I tried to double jump as Thomas. Alright, good. So I don't need to worry about James coming down here, Thomas getting up there. Just need to get rid of the barrier. 6-6. Six, six. Well, Alright, so Sarah's got to get up there. Which... All right. Single jump each? These were truly weak creatures. They possess heart, though. Sarah might consider taking them with her. If they were up to it, which... They were probably not. <laughs> Well, he needs to get down here. That's going to take a little bit of doing. Boom. I'm assuming that's going to... Yeah, now Thomas can get up. Maybe he could have gotten up before, but I doubt it. Or why else would I need to get that switch? Alright. Nice and easy. Let's go Sarah the Arrogant. Come, come. What is that? Why is there a reset thing right on the spawn or the despawn? They were close. Oh. Sarah, sense the presence of the fountain. Just one more portal to go, and then she would have the knowledge. And sure. then escape. How is Thomas gonna get over here? I think I need the help of James for this one. Uh, go here. Not damn it! I need to get above him. Here it. Here it. There it. <laughs> At least I jumped that time. All right. So, hmm. What if you go just like smidge? All right. Ah. Uh. There we are, that's what I wanted. <laughs> I'm switching in the worst way possible. Alright, there we are. Sweet. Okay, I need you to move a little bit over here. No! Yeah! There we are. Okay. Oh, all right, damn it, <laughs> damn it all. So Thomas needs to be on the bottom, and he needs to be on the top. Hmm. All right, I guess we'll just set up another. Actually, I'll have James jump on Thomas this time. Cause there's less deadly, deadly spikes involved. A little sliver. No, it wasn't out far enough. Little sliver. Alright. So now jump. Okay. No. Sarah, you're not involved in this. Just get back in your portal. Come. Mario! What was that achievement Thomas for? Just looked at the glowing beam. That list he'd been writing seemed pretty petty now. This. Well, this was all knowledge. All of it. Right in front of him. Fountain he of knowledge. sorry Sarah couldn't step into it too. He could tell she felt the same way. From the shouting. And the screaming. Ha! <laughs> what did that do? <laughs> Seemed to do nothing. Ah! Oh, double jump. I think that's his portal this time, is this thing. Also, okay, the Mario achievement was for jumping 2,400 times. <laughs> and I'm close to getting uh, one for dying 100 times, apparently. Alright, 69, Thomas dude. Thomas was connected to the internet for 12 seconds, and he had seen everything. He'd seen the cat who couldn't spell. He'd heard of the arrow through the knee. 
he felt there was probably a thing called cake, but that it was a lie. <laughs> it's interesting because the achievement uh, where you die is called, uh, well, I forgot, but it was a portal reference. <laughs> so they're mentioning portal there. And they're mentioning that stupid Skyrim meme. Guess that's around the time that this was made. <laughs> Cause that meme is dead. Fortunately, it was that was old. Like it was funny when I first heard it, and then it was immediately not funny. Like immediately not funny. When I saw it in the comments of YouTube, like every five seconds. Uh. There we go. Uh, scout ahead to know that. All right, so Thomas can just go over there now. Er, gems. Bond, as they never called him and never will. Because that'd be weird and inappropriate and have nothing to do with him, except his name is James. Pow! Last stage. Thomas knew where they were. He knew what they had to do. He hoped the others would understand. They would just be on the next portal. Sarah, you're cramping my style. I mean, this doesn't look like a good idea. But we're gonna do it anyway. As Thomas has the knowledge. Maybe more than me at this point. We were not crushed to death. Alright, that's it for this episode. Next episode, we'll find out the results of whatever's going on, I guess. Never mind, that episode would be like 11 minutes. I gotta keep on going. <laughs> like, that's. that is too short for uh, one of my videos. Thomas oh my god! Knew they couldn't escape. They'd been trapped permanently from the moment the clouds ate them. He explained this to the others. It was impossible to gauge their reaction. After all, they were just rectangles. <laughs> Seems like you people were gauging their reactions pretty well before. He's still trapped, he's still trapped. Ah, but Laura's here now. Which means... Well, alright, she needs to jump across the chasm first. Good. Looks like that cloud doesn't kill us, it just imprisons us in places. And there is a thing up there that I want to get. I did see it. Am I able to, though? That is a question. Oh, almost. Gonna need some additional help. Chris, I hope you stop being a jerk. Eh. Alright. Let's get reinforcements over here. Hoot. Need you to be a little bit higher. We'll get Claire, who I still want to call Beth. Like, you constantly have to try not to call her Beth. Ooh, boom. Up here. Please, you know what? Claire, just stay out of the way for a second. You just, you just take up a lot of space. I'm not fat shaming, it's just literally true. You take up way more space than any other character. There we are. Alright, the Breakfast Club. What? Alright, weird 80 movies reference. Um, let's have... you can stand on Thomas, right? Yeah. There we are. Alright. We can file in now. You just stand here, because Beth can't jump over you. Beth goes... John on top of Beth. Alright, Chris will be the last. Laura, Thomas, and Chris. But where's John? There's John. Sarah was deflated. 
She'd not even got close to the fountain. She could tell from the earnest expression on Thomas that the information it had imparted was clearly important. Sarah knew her destiny was now to support him. Right, so you're supposed to go there. All of there, I, like, I basically just need to be in a place where their, uh, the portal stops, it looks like. And it looks like so far everyone's been able to individually get there without help. I don't know if that's going to be the case forever, though. I know, I know Claire at least needs help from, from Laura to get up to the, to her portal. Oh god, these jumps are a little bit tricky. Hmm, is, any, is anyone else? Alright, so Chris's portal's all the way over there. God, I guess I'm gonna switch through so many guys now. Right, so Chris is just over here. I probably won't need him anymore. Yeah. Uh, we want Laura here. And. Hmm. I think she can jump up there. John's in the way. So we just wanna get John up to his portal, I think. Right, but I have to jump here. And then here. Ugh. Oh. Here, and then here! There we are. And where does it rest, so I don't have to mess with it? Alright, that, that'll probably work. Right, is this good enough? No, so we're gonna have... Laura go on top of Thomas. There. Now it looks like it's just Thomas, really. He's the one who's not in position and hasn't been in position. Hopefully I don't need help from someone who's already in their position. Good. All right, you're the last one, Laura. Uh, here. I want him here. Oh, all right. Well, Sarah's not in position. <laughs> it looked like she was in position, but she's not. All right, she needs to be down here. And I think Chris might not be in position either. Damn it! All right. No, Chris is in position. Thomas is not in position, alright. So, Thomas needs to get over there, which might be an issue at this point. <laughs> oh dear, because I think he needs to be where Beth, alright. Hmm. Damn it, this is getting complicated, because I guess I do need help from certain people <laughs> to get up there. Uh, alright, if like, Thomas could get on top yeah, alright, so Thomas can get on top of Claire. She just moves over a little bit. We'll get Laura over here. Alright. Now, so Claire will just move on this side. That was hopefully enough for me to jump across. Ah, oh, that's totally enough for me to jump across, alright. Damn it. <laughs> All right, let me get... All right, so I'll just... Instead of moving her, I'll just move her. This is weird calling all these shapes by proper names. But it feels appropriate, you know? All right, so now... Yeah, he's linked up with the four of them. John is in the wrong position, too. Okay. So John needs to be over here. Now, instead of being too short, this is going to be a really long episode. All right. And the last is Laura once again. We are. Uh, <laughs> sorry, John. <laughs> I'll come back for you. Shoot. Uh, oot. Ah. Damn it. <laughs> Now I'm just fail-facing. It's only the three of us, it looks like. Oh. Oh, alright, he can't get through, but he's, he's just a little bit too short. We got the two best jumpers and the floater. Ah! Son of a bitch. Yes! I made it. Okay. You over here. Let me both move back on you. Okay. Claire 
could not accept that this had all been futile. She was a superhero. There had to be a way. Not for her to get out. Red had been pretty clear on that, but... There must be thousands of other AIs up there, unaware of their situation. Was there a way to help them? Oh, uh, why? <laughs> Damn it all. All right, I recollected them. Uh, all right, so maybe they shouldn't be standing on her when she jumps in the water, or maybe I was just moving forward too fast. All right. Either way, that should be safe, right? All right, we're just gonna go over again. All right, so she's definitely safe. Oh, no, she's not, because she needs to help out once again. No longer so impressive, are you? All these jumps are just a little bit too short for you. Cool. Meh! I cheated the system, you see. Height. Height. No. Hmm. Want to do some scouting here. Hwa! Hwa! Wait, I think she can make that. And she's probably supposed to make that. Let's make as big as a jump thing for her as possible. Alright. What? What? Yeah! There it is. All right, hold on, John. There we are. That's what happened when I bounced up. There's a little part where I I launched the other character off of Claire, and uh, then when I was moving, they just fell off of me. What? Line up. Excellent. Seven four. Thomas led his friends to the creation matrix. The system which generated the worlds up above. He had a plan. They were going to redesign the world. Uh oh. <laughs> That's what the humans did. They changed the world to suit them. Why couldn't they do the same? This, this, this isn't good. AI creating a world. That's what caused the issue, isn't it? And that's what this entire thing is about. Whoa. I keep on obsessively checking my hard drive. <laughs> but I've got 34 gigabytes left out of a terabyte. I'm gonna have to do something about this. My girlfriend has an external drive, though. I might be able to transfer some of my videos there. I'm just, again, I still have that weird fear from the beginning of when I started my channel that something's going to happen to the channel, and then I'll lose the videos that I've spent four years making forever. So, you know, I want to I want to have them all backed up, so I have every single video I've ever made backed up. And some of them I, like, super compressed to, like, a really horrible file format, but still, they're all there in some form. Cool. <laughs> This thing has different physics than our uh, blocks. It can be pushed a little bit easier. Nope. Err it. Err it. Ah! There we go. Looks like we've reached the destination. Chris was skeptical. He knew his abilities would be of no use to anyone, but Laura smiled at him. And immediately, he knew he had to do everything he could to help them get there. Is she gonna be needed? Cause she can get up here. Okay, she is needed. Can't rest yet, Sarah. Now her work is done, though she's completely trapped. You two. Also trapped. There must be a switch. Or I just need to get this here. Ah. Things happen down there. You're no longer trapped. <laughs> John is wigging out. Well, 
Bunch of AIs working together. Who knows what we could accomplish. Ah, he's gonna fall up. Hut. I believe we're all in our respective positions except for you. Come, come, come. Uh, punch. Just the two of us, it seems. Girls night out. Wow. Yeah, it looks like it's some crazy double jumping time. Ah. <laughs> I don't think I need her for to get over those other ones, I just need to stay up there. Yeah. And Lord off you are. Had been born special. She understood that now. She was created to help others. If her bounce could be passed on, then this would all have been worthwhile. Yeah, a lot of people that are different in this either think they're amazing and like the best thing either, or they think they're horrible and people will use them. <laughs> but, you know, people will use them. We have to, it's the only way we can survive. We're all parts of the same machine. Every single person who's in every single stage needs to be used. It's designed that way. And I think only Thomas realizes this. <laughs> yeah! Come, come. Thomas seven. liked the idea of being an architect. He wanted to modify the world to help others. He was sick of these contrived spaces, these intentionally obtuse paths and puzzles. He'd do things differently. He'd empower the AIs above. Will he, though? That was easy enough. No, I'm not done. Now I'm done. Come. Like she needs to get this done here before she gets to call it quits. Who else do we got? We got you, whose massive jumps were dwarfed by Sarah. For the first time in his life, he felt humbled, not as good as someone else. He realized that he wanted to make every AI up there feel as heroic as he had. Oh he God! Like the sound of that. What if... Are we all going to pass on our abilities to one super AI? Because that'd be pretty crazy. Yeah. This, <laughs> this is difficult. Zukashi. No. I have to make sure I only hit this side of it. Damn it. There we go. Almost threw it over that barrier too. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Push. Oh, looks like my job is done. There you go, John. Or um, J James. <laughs> All up to you now. Passing the football. A little bit more. Very nice. And she can go back to where she came. Having done the arduous task of pushing it over those stupid pillars. Alright, I'm glad I made this a double episode. A lot more happened here. James still felt weird, but he realized now that everyone else was too. They were a crew of weirdos. Weirdness that would save all the normals up above. The other AIs would escape and it would all be down to seven rectangles with very different relationships to gravity. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I <laughs> just have to go through so many of them now. Alright, so yeah, just other direction. I always just keep on hitting the same direction, no matter who I want. It's not working out all that efficiently for me. Alright, so you need to hit this. You hit this. Uh, is she going to be able to get under him? I don't think so. Alright, so he's got to skedaddle over here. And you hit this. Should lead me down, because that's the only thing that makes sense. Oh no, oops. <laughs> Can I jump over you? Nope. I need you to step down for a second. Alright, I think everyone's getting lined up. Conveyor belt! Wah! And Sarah will be the last. The last of us. Last stage of the video, this time for real. Thomas knew he'd never meet Nathan Fillion, or a Transformer. He'd never get to visit Gotham City, or eat at movies. It didn't matter. If he and his friends jumped into the creation matrix, they could give everyone else in the simulation a chance to. That's the plan. Oh, oh. <laughs> Should be able to get that achievement square that I saw, yeah. Should be able to get it really easily with him. Alright, selfless act. Sarah! Funnest character to play as! This is cool, there's challenges for each of the, us depending on our abilities. Here. I don't know if Chris is going to do anything, though. That might be an issue. Guess we'll see. Might need some help from Laura. Yeah, he's not going to be able to make it across. Well, maybe... Eh, no. Nah. <laughs> I'll wait for Claire. Let's get Laura out of here, though. Oh, no. Alright, Laura needs help from Chris. Not the other way around. <laughs> I can't get back. Damn it. Alright, so now we got Chris back to where he needs to be. To help Laura. Good. Let's get Laura right there. And then we want Claire. I mean, if possible, to get past Chris. And then later help Chris get across. Also, let us stop blocking John. Alright, she should also be able to help Laura. So I think everything's set now. Set for success. Let's not go so fast, because once again... Oh crap. Um, I didn't just screw myself by putting her down there, did I? I might have. Oh no, I think I did. I'm going to have to start over again, do I? I think I do. But I don't think she can get out of that hole once she's there. It's terrible. Oh, but you know who could help her. Instead of starting over again. She's small enough to fit down there. Yeah, let's not count myself out yet. Here, there we are. Guess I didn't need Chris to come back. No. Eh. Good. Now, you go here. Excellent. Boop. Alright, so she's good. Who else are? John hasn't even moved. But I don't think he would have needed anyone to help him. It was just. His issue was. That, oh, jeez. His issue was that he was trapped behind everyone. Because he is a tall one. And as such, I guess I'm going to put him over here so he's not. Oh, he's going to block Chris now. Whatever. Let's just get them to where they need to be. And then victory will hopefully be achieved. Yeah, all right. <laughs> kind of in your portal, kind of not, but close enough. All right, 
Sarah. After helping Laura out of a horrible situation. And the mighty buoyant blue. He's blue. Cool. <laughs> I think John's trapped again. Yeah. We'll just have... Oh, dear. You can fit through now, right? No. Uh, Alright. Let's move you out of the way. Well, how's she gonna get over... Oh, Alright. <coughs> so he goes... All the way over here. Alright, this ended up being a little bit more complicated than initially seemed. But I thought everyone was just gonna have to walk over here and everything would be fine. But with John's placement, the video is over! Oh, oh, or, or crazy things are gonna happen. Come, come, come. Electric Boogaloo. Okay, so, yeah, uh, I'm glad I didn't make the video 11 minutes long, because that would have been ridiculous. So that time we got 20 stages instead of 10. So I have no, it's probably really long. And my hard drive is likely completely filled up now, so... Couldn't go on if I wanted to. But I don't, because that was a lot of stages. Anyway... I'll see you guys in the uh, set of 8.1 to 8.10 stages, and explosions. Later.